Hello and welcome everyone. This is Doc Williams with Brand Factory Inc. and Build With Me. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at what you should be using if you're trying to create a fitness app. And we're going to be comparing Adalo and Trainerize. Okay, so what, what do we have going on here? Well, Adalo is used as a really good no-code platform to create apps. And if you go into the showcase section with the templates, you can actually fi find a clone that you can just use and spin up an app. And this allows you to have assignments to your uh, clients. You can have a resource section where you can have videos, all of these things. And again, you can start off by cloning it so you don't have to build out all of the pages by hand. It's already there and you can just change out your branding and everything like that. So there's one option right there. But before you go down that route, what I would suggest is you have to write down what what you're doing with your app what do you want with your features do you want just a library do you want nutrition all those things and if you want a lot of those specifics and you want a certain workflow again this depends on how many clients you have what's going on i would just probably go with with trainerize and then i would go with a um a custom app and they actually have that where is this yeah a custom branded app and this allows you to have a lot of integrations with other uh, apps in fitness and everything like that. So when you have this one, it allows you to have fitness, nutrition, habits, and communication. Also too, this section you're allowed to use a bunch of other apps with it as well. Um, but again, the, the, depending on what you're looking for, we can go into that. But Again, you can customize all the different pages. Now, the thing is you pay a one-time fee when you're publishing, uh, but keep in mind too, it depends on how many clients you have and what's going on, right? Because right here, this is going to cost you about 250 a month to manage all of your uh, clientele, create a fitness brand, all of these things. But you're, you're getting all of this in, in place, all of it. And so I would say, wh where are you right now? That Where can you invest? And are you ready at this stage? Now, again, you could also go the other route with Trainerize. If you are not at that point, you can always start off with a, a lower amount as you're scaling with clients, make it not a customizable app. So it's just on the Trainerize platform and then transition over to a customizable app. And you, you're you know, your clients would obviously have the same kind of experience from the jump. Now, the other side, if we're looking at a dollar, let's take a look at pricing. We can do something with coaching. Okay, so it's unlimited apps published to a dollar campaign right here. A dollar branding. Okay, limited to 50 rows of data per app. So you would still be going around probably the free version, you could go free. And then when you're getting a lot more clients, a lot more data, you, you could go with $50 or the business $200, but probably you'd stay around the $50 pro plan versus if you're using Trainerize, you're going to start with, what is it? Is it free for one client and then it goes up? Yeah, one client free and then it scales as you're getting clients, right? And when you're at the studio, that's 500 clients plus, you're good to go. And if we're looking for scalability, if you're already at, you know, have 100, 150 clients, I would just make it part of the, you know, part of the training that they're paying for a customizable app, or you're rolling that into it. Now you're not telling them every single time, but make that part of your bottom line. So when you're scaling, you're already putting in, okay, if I have X amount of clients, this is how much my overhead cost is for this app or this platform. So again, these are a couple no code options. I did a whole breakdown of a trainerize of the trainerize platform uh, several years ago too, actually, but I can have that link if you want to see details or behind the scenes, it's pretty much stayed the same. Uh, if you have more questions, let me know. But again, if I'm going to choose what I'm going to be doing with fitness, I'm going to go with a platform that's made for tr fitness and I would probably go with trainerize. I wouldn't go with true coach. You could train heroic again. It's another option, but with everything, if you want to stay independent and scale and have a branded experience, I would go with Trainerize. But write down your goals, write down what your clients need from you, and then you can find the right platform that fits what you're trying to do. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments.